as you may recall from the past video, or can mean one or both. With an OR, if both graphs go the same direction, then we use the larger. In example one, let's compare 4x minus 6 greater than 10 to 5 minus 2x less than or equal to 7. If we add 6 to both sides, we get 4x is greater than 16. Divide by 4, we get x is greater than 4. We also solve the inequality on the right, which is subtract 5 from both sides to get negative 2x is less than or equal to 2. Divide both sides by a negative 2. Flipping our inequality, we get x greater than or equal to negative 1. We can now graph this to see our intervals. Remembering to float above the number line at first. Calling this zero, we can now graph each one of these. If x is greater than negative 1, greater than or equal to negative 1, this is going to be a closed dot at negative 1. But it's going to head in the positive direction because x is greater than or equal to negative 1. If we graph x greater than 4, it would not include 4, so it would be an open dot also heading to the right. At this point, we have to determine which line covers more area. Remember, as we said earlier in this video, with an OR, if both graphs go the same direction, then we use the larger one. So, we're going to go from negative 1 to positive infinity as our interval. In example two, we do the same exact thing. Solve for x. And we get x is less than negative 14, or subtracting three from both sides, distributing here first, we get 7x plus 3 is less than or equal to 5x minus 5. So now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides. Subtract 5x from both sides to get 2x is less than or equal to negative 8. Divide by 2, x is less than or equal to negative 4. Graphing the inequalities together, we'll call this negative 4 and this over here negative 14. If x is less than negative 14, it's going to be an open dot heading to the left. 
if x is less than or equal to negative 4, that's going to be a closed dot at negative 4, also heading to the left. The larger of the two graphs is from negative 4 heading to the left or toward negative infinity. So we have to pick this interval, the longer interval, as our solution. And this should not be a bracket, it should be a parenthesis because you can't ever, or you can never get to negative infinity, so it's a parenthesis.